What is up and welcome back. Hey, if this is your first time here, why don't you hit that subscribe button, it'd be, it'd be real cool. But about a month and a half ago, I used some liquid metal as a thermal compound on my i7 7700K and my Kraken X62. And if you follow Gamers Nexus, you know that they just released a video showing the effects of liquid metal on different components in your, within your PC. Uh, some better than others. Obviously aluminum, very bad. Uh, but for the most part, I haven't noticed any problems when it comes to just my computer running. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing going on inside. So we're gonna take this thing apart today and see what, what's what. We're gonna see if the liquid metal has started to dry out, if it's started to eat in anything, if it's just causing a ruckus in there. And if it looks good, we'll just slap on another layer of it and we're gonna check back in six months to a year uh, and see if anything things changed given a longer time frame. But, but for now, we're gonna take it apart and see what it looks like inside. So here we go. So, for the most part, it doesn't look too dry. It looks like it's still liquidy. I'll have to get the surface cleaned up to know for sure, but I don't know if I can get focused any closer. And the heat spreader looks about the same. I mean, you can see it still looks liquidy on the top there. Nothing uh, spilled out the side. Looks like it got pretty close, but nothing looks like it came out the side and caused any issues, but. We'll get her cleaned up and see what she looks like. All right, to remove this, we're just gonna do the same thing we would do for any other thermal compound. Um, if that doesn't work, I guess we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, it's not dry at all. It's still, still looks exactly like it did when I put it on there one, one and a half months ago or two months ago, however long it's been. So right now I don't have any isopropyl alcohol. I'm just trying to see if it can get any of it to come up, which it is. Let's see if a little alcohol makes our life easier. Oh yeah. Thumbs up with these. Actually, it came off a little easier than the thermal compound did that was on there to start with. Now, the big thing in liquid metal that causes the other problems is the gallium, which likes to re, uh, react with lots of different metals to form an alloy. With this zinc plated copper heat spreader, uh, it doesn't react with zinc as much as it does other materials like uh, aluminum. So, you don't have to really worry about much corrosion or how the way happening with your CPU heat spreader, but it still can happen. And mine looks pretty unfazed. I mean, there's a little spot right there. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't look like it's stained at all, really. I don't see much pitting. I mean, there's slight pitting I can see right around this bottom spot. I need something to point. Screwdriver. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but right around this bottom spot, there is some slight pitting, some up top, but it's, it's very light. I mean, it's just, you, you can just barely see it when you kind of get the glare from the light on, a, on an angle there. But nothing that I suspect will cause us any, any heartache. So let's take a look at our Kraken X62 water block now and see what's going on here. So that's, Focus. All right, let's see if we can get that cleaned up a little bit. Let's try a little more alcohol, see if we can get any you know, more of that off. I don't think so. I think that's gonna be our new, uh, new design for our copper block here. It's a giant copper gallium center point, which you know, looks cool. Put a little more effort on that and come back to you in here in a minute and see if I can't get anything cleaned up. But I think that's it. So I've been at it for a little bit now and that is as good as it's going to get. So that is what your copper water block is going to look like uh, after a month and a half, almost two months of using liquid metal. I mean, you could feel it. That there is a definite difference in texture between the nice clean copper and the copper gallium here in the middle. But you know, there is also some pitting in there too. But it's hard to see if I can get you a angle maybe you can start to see little dots towards the middle around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Most of the pitting is right in this area right here. Little black dots. 
that you can just barely see, but they are there for sure. And you can't doubt that there is a definite difference on how this water block looks now versus what it looked like before we used liquid metal. The, like we said, the zinc plated copper heat spreader on our CPU is not really affected, but the copper in this block does like to uh, get down with some gall gallium and form a copper gallium alloy. And that's what we see here. Now, if you did watch Gamer Nexus video, they did say that although this looks like crap, it will not hurt your performance, at least in a way that they can measure. So I haven't seen any performance drop in my cooling of my unit. So I'm gonna throw on some more liquid metal. I'm gonna put it back together and we're gonna come back in six months to a year and see if uh, it's gotten any worse, if it's gotten any better, if it's performing any worse, if it's performing any better. Maybe there'll just be one big hole right here. Who knows? Well, I mean, we'll find out as time goes on. So make sure to subscribe to see that. So let's put this back together and uh, get her back up and run it. Now we are going to be using the same tube of Thermal Grizzly liquid metal that we used before. Uh, just a little hint of advice here. Originally when we put it on, we used this nozzle here that it came with. Uh, don't try to reuse this. It's a really small hole and it gets, you know, it's clogged up with dried or crystallized liquid metal. And uh, if you go to put that on there and you go to apply another spot, well, if you watch the Linus Tech Tips, you know what happens. Very carefully put... Oh, f*** me. So we're going to use this other nozzle that it comes with. I didn't use this the first time, so it's still clear. And we're going to hope that there's some left in this tube, because if not, you have to go to Micro Center, which is like 20 miles away, and that's, uh, that is just a bummer. Remember, just a little bit goes a long way. And same story on our copper water block. We'll go right back here in the middle of the ground zero, and we'll apply a little bit more liquid metal. We'll get her smoothed out, put back together, and we should be back in, back in gear here. There, does that look like an M for major hardware? When we take this back apart down the line, we're gonna see if we, uh, we tattooed our heat sink with an M. Really sweet. Oh, that'd been a bummer, cause that's sideways. Okay, so we are all done. I haven't yet hit the power button because uh, it could explode if uh, anything went crazy. So let's uh, let's see if it still works. There's like a stain on my uh, X62 now, and it's, it's tilting. Couldn't get it off. Okay, good news. Everything's back up and running. Ran a little time spy. Everything seems to be working good. CPU temperatures are still down to where they were before. Uh, if you want to know what I use to clean it off, it's just what you would normally use for any thermal compound. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol. Um, to apply some new stuff since I didn't have the swaps they sent, they were just Q-tips. They worked great. And then I had like a shop rag paper towel, or you can use a microfiber cloth, or just use a paper towel. Just be careful of any lint or anything that might come off of it. Just make sure you get it cleaned up, should be alright. But for the most part, everything came off well. We did have some staining and some pitting, but for the most part, they aren't, a, you know, they aren't affecting performance. And like I said, you know, Gamers Next, if you want to check out their video, they did a, they did a comparison of what they saw performance-wise between, you know, clean copper and then copper gallium kind of uh, alloy, and they didn't see any performance drops at all. So I'm going to still run it, and then we're going to see what it looks like in six months to a year from now. So if you want to see what's going on, make sure to subscribe and check out all the rest of our videos. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you found this interesting. If you have an idea or a comment for something you'd like to see me do to this here computer or a product you want me to look at or just something in general that you'd like to see me do on this channel, just leave a comment down below and if it's something that I can you know, handle with my giant 157 subscriber budget, I'll knock it out for you. But go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, get subscribed, and we'll see you in a future video.